Sharon, editor at Fintech Futures and the Daily News at Cyboss. I'm here live at Cyboss, joined by Michelle over at Banking Circle. Michelle, hi, welcome. Hi, thank you for having so me. what is it you do? So my role at Banking Circle is general manager, so um, I look after the London office. A banking Circle is a provider of banking services for fintechs and banks. Mm -hmm. we, um, we started the business around five years ago, really serving fintechs at the time very underserved, providing them with core banking services like payments, accounts, foreign exchange and lending. Mm -hmm. and, um, and now we're expanding that offering to include banks as well. well that's really interesting. So what brings you to Cyboss? Firstly, just meeting a lot of the banks. There's so many providers out here that we can talk to. Um, We've spent, I think, the last five years mainly focusing on fintechs. Now what we're doing is we're looking at how we can provide value to, to banks. Many banks are struggling to get access to euros and sterling. So one of the solutions that we're launching is our international cash management solution that enables banks to access local clearing, which fundamentally means that their underlying merchants can pay locally into these markets. If, for example, a merchant in Sweden and you want to make a payment to a supplier in, in the UK, uh, previously, you'd make a cross-border payment that would take three to five days. It's very expensive. Uh, under our solution, that, that would be a, an instant payment and it would be through, through our local rail. So it would be a local payment. And that's what we're really showcasing here at, at Cybos today. Okay, well that's really cool. I mean, yeah. on the topic of instant payments, which is one of the top trends, yeah. what do you think are the top trends in both Cybos and also this year? There's a lot of providers um, talking about cross-border payments. We're seeing that's a real, real strong theme. Um, it has been for the last few years, but I'm really seeing that's quite evident at Cybos this year. Um, some of the Chinese providers, the Chinese banks, they've got huge stands. I don't know whether mm. you've seen. So yes, they are. It's, it's, quite it's, wonderful. Yeah, it's, it's pretty evident that they're, you know, that they're expanding their businesses outside of China, and I think that entails a bigger demand for, for you know, more reliable cross-border payments. Uh, a, a lot of these businesses are servicing businesses in China, importing and exporting. Um, Amazon sellers, for example, that are based out in Asia and selling their goods and services in, in Amazon Europe. So that whole trade between between you know our jurisdictions is becoming more and more important, and mm -hmm. I'm seeing that in Cybos. Yeah. Well, that's really cool. Um, yeah. And what about the challenges facing the market? What do you think is going on? One of the other trends that I'm seeing um, at Cybos that I think is very relevant to our business is financial inclusion. So um, there's a lot of noise around SMEs, especially mm -hmm. in the UK and Europe. There's mm -hmm. 24 million SMEs in Europe, there's 5 million in the UK. Mm -hmm. And many of these SMEs can't access core banking services. You know, many of them can't get a loan, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, we did a, a white paper where we interviewed 500 SMEs and it was evident that, that a lot of them just couldn't get a loan, half of them couldn't get a loan. Oh um, and when they could, mm -hmm. the loan didn't fit their business. Mm -hmm. you know, for example, you could be a seasonal business, seasonal SME, a restaurant or a hairdresser. Mm -hmm. um, a fixed payment every month doesn't really fit in with your business requirements. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing that the exclusion of SMEs is, is a real theme um, uh, in the market and we're, we're hearing more of that at Cybos. And again, we have our own solutions that's really going to help tackle the exclusion of SMEs um, in, in the financial, financial services space. Well, thank you so much, Michelle. And of course, you can stay tuned for more. You can watch it via our site on www.fintechfutures.com where you can access some of Banking Circle's reports and white papers. Thank you.